This is Vangel, and today I'm going over anti-radar missile delivery using the Phantasmagory emitter targeting pod as seen on the underside of my aircraft. I'll be using the radar warning receiver to tell me the threat type and bearing of the targets I'll be attacking. The threat types shown along the bottom row from left to right are airborne, long range, medium range, short range, early warning radar, and AWACS, with the bearing displayed along the lights on the top row. As we can see, we have a medium range radar to our 12 o'clock. At this point, I'll enter ground attack mode by pressing 7 on the keyboard, and I'll select the missile type I desire. In this case, I'll be using a 25 MPU. Next, press I to engage the emitter targeting pod, and at this point, any radar sights detected by the emitter pod will be displayed on the HUD. In this case, we can see that we have one sight displayed, and it's an S11. Slew the cursor over the target and press enter to lock the target. With the target locked, we can see the range scale displayed on the top left of the HUD. The mark indicates the max range you could launch from. The arrow indicates your current range. Once the arrow falls below the max range, LA will appear in the center of the HUD, meaning launch authorized. I tend to get in a bit closer than the max range, as there's many factors that can cause the missile to miss its target, and getting in a bit closer can minimize those factors. As we're able to see, Launch Authorized is now displayed in the center of the HUD. And I've just fired the first missile. And zooming in on the HUD, we're going to be able to see as two more missile sites are going to pop up and start to engage the 25 MPU I fired at the S-11. To be able to land a shot on the SA-11, I'll have to take out the two SA-15s first. There's the first one, there's the second one. Slowing over onto one of them, locking it up and firing, I can instantly lock up the second one and fire it as well as they're all firing forget missiles. And once they're out of the way, I can return back to engaging my primary target being the SA-11. That about this point, in the background you're probably able to see the two Taurus shooting down the 25 MPU that I fired at the SA-11. It'll take them a moment, but they will likely shoot it down. If a radar target disengages its radar, or ceases its emissions in any way, it will disappear off of the HUD. It will also disappear if it's destroyed, as is the case with Target 2 and Target 1 in a moment. With the two Taurus destroyed, I could return to firing on my primary target, being the SA-11. So I'll fire another 25 MPU at it, and this time it should be destroyed. While we wait for this missile to impact on the target, some points to remember are to hold weapons release until the missile leaves the pylon, as it takes a second for the weapons release to be registered to prevent accidental release. Some other points to remember are that if you get engaged and you haven't fired yet, simply evade the missile. Service to air missiles at range are inherently easy to avoid as they try to intercept you so you could simply fly them into the ground provided you have enough time or if they're launched at max range you can simply burn out their rocket motor. As we can see the target is now destroyed and its radar emissions have now ceased. 